Hello guys, this has been massively requested on my Instagram and I thought I would finally just get around to doing it. Do forgive me because this is literally my well-loved makeup bag that I carry with me every single day and this is literally my everyday makeup look that I do. This is my makeup bag, it is literally a lunchbox from B&M, um, it fits everything in <laughs> and you can see everything easily in there so that is what I keep all my makeup in. So we've all got our well-loved makeup bag that we carry around with us or whatever so this is mine so i am going to do for you my everyday makeup tutorial um it's really not massively difficult no really fancy products or nothing um it's just what i use on an everyday basis so at least this will give you an idea of what i use so i have already prepped my face um uh, this is what i tend to use on a sort of every three or four day basis it's not focusing uh but yeah this is the garnier um ombre solaire natural bronzer self tan mist you can get the face one but this is the body one um and this is an intense so i'll use this every sort of three to four days just on my face um just to keep it nice and bronzed and then i've just put on the um lacura moisture boost <laughs> put my teeth back in and this is the it's like a clinique um i think it's the hydra boost or something like that um uh dupe uh, from aldi and i love this it's really good so i'll put that on and we're going to go straight into it so my foundation that i use on a daily basis is the estee lauder double wear and mine is in buff so i just take a beauty blender um it's better if it's damp i've not done that today because you know we're not professionals here we're just kind of showing you what i do so i start just putting that all over the face and you can see the difference straight away so that is it looks a different colour. I know it looks a different colour, but it won't be by the time I've finished. <laughs> so next I use the Last Imperfection Concealer from Collection. This is what it used to look like. Um, obviously it's well loved, but now they've changed the packaging. Um, because they've changed the packaging, I've picked the wrong colour up. So um, it is really super bright, this one. Um, so I might just put this kind of here and on my lids to kind of prime the lids. Um, but yeah, I need to get a, a different shade, so forgive me. And we're done. <laughs> So I tend to put that all over the lids to give us a blank canvas. I do have the P. Louise base for when I'm doing something a little bit more creative. Um, but because this is very pale, um, we're just going to use this today. And for powder over the top of that, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is like a real classic. Um, this is in transparent. So it's just literally a setting powder. It's the one I've always used. And for me, it's just a classic that keeps the oily face up by and next we're going to bronze everything back up so we've got the fenty beauty um island ting uh bronzer as you can tell also well loved this is truly what i use on a day-to-day -day basis so i'm just going in with a real techniques brush as well and we're just going to kind of sculpt the face out a little bit and bronze everything back up under the jawline as well and down the neck also really important then for blusher, I've got this gorgeous MAC blusher. Um, this is Melba and Love Cloud P um, Powder Duo. Um, it's got a slight shimmer in it, the uh, the pink side has, and this is completely matte. Um, so this is a really, really nice um, blusher. I got this from um, a designer outlet for like half the price. So it was an absolute bargain. So I just literally sweep across the two and put that in a sweeping up motion on the top of the chop of the cheeks the chop of the cheeks i'm not changing it <laughs> generally that's my base completed i don't always wear highlight because i think you can have a little bit too much um but this is basically the uh aldi version of charlotte tilbury's um highlighter um and this side it's it's okay it's not amazing but i don't like like a lot of highlight i don't like to be really shiny um but if you just do want to place a little bit obviously that's at the top and you can see it gives a really nice um shimmer and obviously this doesn't come out this isn't out all the time so um yeah it's a nice little subtle shimmer but obviously charlotte tilbury's one would probably be better for brows this is the brow product that i use this is the sleek um brow kit and this is in medium so you've just got like a little um what do you call it like a waxy gel um and then a uh brown powder as well just to top it off so um i'm just using this on a morphe brush um it's like a really small angled brush and it's got like a spoolie on the end. So yeah, I just brush all the brows up. And remember, brows are sisters, not twins. So go in with the waxy side and go underneath in a line and across 
and then on the top with the liner and then join that back up. It's quite hard to explain, but it's fine, you'll see. So I've obviously just taken the wax part through on my brow and then I'm just going to brush that all through to make it all even. And then I just tend to dip the spoolie just into the, into the powder very, very lightly and kind of set that over the top. So I don't really do anything massively fancy with my brows. I don't spend sort of hours and hours on them. Um, I know obviously they could look better, but when I'm such, I'm, I'm a busy mom and busy at work and I just need to get it done. So that is pretty much all I do for my brows. So now they're done, we can go in with the eyes. So there's two palettes that I use on a daily basis. I always have in my makeup bag and they're both from Makeup Obsession. Love these, as you can tell again, well loved. This one is the Belle Jordan palette. I use this all the time. So there's an array of different colours in there. There's some really, really nice, beautiful colours. And the colour payoff is really, really, really good. These are £10 each from Boots. Um, this one is the Feels palette. That's a more neutral, um, everyday palette. So what we're going to do is just use sort of between these two just to create a transition colour. And then this is really, really easy. We're just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerize this is like a cream eyeshadow it doesn't crease or anything it's really good as you can tell again well loved <laughs> um and this is in mary antoinette so it's just like a, a, a champagne color um really really nice so we're just going to create that transition color first and then go in with this and i'm taking a morphe fluffy brush to do that so you can just go along the crease in circular motions just to create that depth and you can just bring it up to the brow in the corner and don't be afraid to bring it right up and just really, really keep that hand light. So I tend to take a clean fluffy brush as well and go in with either one of these or you can go back in with the um, highlight shade from the uh, fake Charlotte Tilbury palette from Aldi. Um, either way. And this I'm just going to create the, um, just on the brow bone, a little bit of highlight there and that also will start to blend out um, the transition shade underneath. Now in with the cream eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury, just a little bit on the brush and all over the lid. I'm just going to take what's left on the brush just underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to take that clean brush again and we're just going to blend that back out. Something that I do regularly is put my wing liner on now and then I know how much depth to put in um, on either side. So obviously I'll put a little bit of a dark brown smoke going on on the outer corner just to kind of give that a bit of depth um, on the outside. So um, because if I do it before, I don't know where my wings are going to be and all of that. So I tend to do this first and then go in with the like to darken it all up afterwards so this is the makeup gallery liquid eyeliner that i use this is from poundland i have used this for years and years and years um and i just can't find one that suits me any better than this so i just keep using it <laughs> i know winged liner people do find a bit of a struggle to use sometimes but this one's really good um a good trick you can do is you can put little dots on your um lash line and then join it up like a dot to dot if you want to or always start halfway through your lid so so like I'd always start halfway and then join it up from the inner corner. If you end up with jagged edges while you're doing your liner, you can always get a really small brush and get a little bit of um, black or dark brown eyeshadow and just smooth that over the top and that will then blend your liquid liner into the rest of your eyeshadow. So now I've got the wings on. It doesn't really matter if they're a little bit messy towards the outer corner of the lid because we're obviously going to go over that with the dark eyeshadow anyway, which is why I do that first. Um, so we've got the Scandalize um, Rimmel Scandalize 24 Hour Wear Coal Eyeliner. Love these. They don't budge really through the day. I'm just doing that on the tight line and the waterline. And it's really, really important to blend that out at the, bo at the bottom of your lash line because otherwise it just looks too stark. So I'm just getting this little brush from Morphe and I'm just putting it in the dark brown um, on this, which is called No Way in the Feels palette. And I'm just taking that and blending it out underneath. Then I'm just going to darken that up along the outside with the black. This is called Lola and this is the Belle Jordan palette. And I'm just going to go back over that just to blend that back out with the fluffy brush. Just to darken up the outer corners, I'm just going to go back in with the dark brown and also possibly back in with a little bit of the black just to really, really deepen that little bit of a smoke that we've got going on. This is a flat edge brush, again from Morphe, and I'm just going in literally the outer corners. 
So the more you pat it on, the more of a stronger colour payoff you're going to get. Also, if you drag the eyeshadow over the top of a cream eyeshadow, you're going to get little blank jagged lines which are hard to cover up. So just be careful when you're doing that. It's better to pat it in and then blend it out and then you can go over it again if you need to. So I think for an everyday look, especially for work or anything, we're kind of dark enough now um, and the eyes are a little bit smoky, so that's really nice. Um, I'm just going in with the Too Legit Mascara. This is, again, from Aldi. I'm definitely not sponsored by Aldi or anything, but I'm just using their products because it's just what I've got in my makeup bag at the moment. And this is what their mascara looks like. This is obviously a dupe of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is a waterproof one. So I'm just going over the lashes with that. Obviously, if you want to put lashes on, you can, but I'm not going to because this is a everyday look and I do not wear lashes every day. And finally, we have lips. So every single day I use this. This is the MAC Stone Lip Pencil. I love this. It's like a real kind of dark brown, but you can really blend it. Um, and I have a few different alternative alternative endings let's say um so this is the charlotte tilbury lipstick this is in hepburn honey this looks really nice as well then i've just got the fenty beauty lip gloss this is in diamond milk and then this is the kiko um metal liquid lip color in number one and that's the one i'm going to use today because this gives just a really nice classic look on the lips so just going to go in with the matte lip, lip pencil in stone um just line the lips with that blend it out a little bit and then we're going to go in with the lip gloss afterwards you're going to get the best results if you've got this nice and sharp same with good makeup day always is going to be good with clean brushes i haven't really cleaned mine today because it, this is just every day and this is what i do on a day-to-day -day basis but um you're definitely going to get better results if you've got sharp tools and clean tools So that is it guys, that is my actual everyday makeup look that I use every single day for work and all the products I use every single day. So I hope you enjoyed that, I hope that was a little bit more informative of what I wear on my face on a day to day basis. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Love you loads.